Welcome back to Reviewer's Revival. This is Brother Charles with the third installment of our Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 review. In this segment, I'll introduce you to the virtual keyboard and the full collection of virtual instruments and effects available in Mixcraft Pro. To begin, let's take a look at the virtual keyboard, or musical typing. You access it by clicking on the View menu and coming down to Musical Typing. Alternatively, you can click on Control Alt plus the letter K. It brings up an easy to read and easy to use musical typing interface. You'll notice that the top two rows of your computer keyboard represent the keys that you would normally see on a piano keyboard. You can lower or increase the octave range. You can increase or decrease the note range as well as adjust keyboard velocity. As you saw in the first video segment of this review, it's easy to load up a virtual instrument into a MIDI track or virtual instrument track within Mixcraft. Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 includes, or bundles, a large collection of quality virtual instruments that range from basses, guitars, various kinds of keyboards, percussion instruments, strings, synthesizers, wind and brass instruments. For this example, let's choose the bass category. Within basses, you will see on the right side a lot of variations. This is true for all the different instruments. So let's select 80's fretless bass. Come over here to the musical typing window and take a listen. One of my favorite basses is a fretless bass. This collection of bundled virtual instruments that Acoustica have put together in their general MIDI library is a great option for anyone who is just starting out with home producing and hasn't already purchased a sample library such as the ones that would be included with Contact by Native Instruments or Sample Tank by IK Multimedia. Sounds pretty good. Now let's drop down and find some good old-fashioned electric keyboards. I've always been partial to the old DX7 sounds from the 80s. Let's load this one up and see what it sounds like. That also sounds respectable. We have an assortment of Rhodes and Wurlitzers. Let's check out the Rhodes EP1. Whirly Electric Piano. If there's a specific instrument that you need to finish off a project and you don't already own a high quality virtual instrument or sample library of it, many of the instruments that are included in the Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 collection will surely get the job done and they won't sound bad doing it either. Let's turn our attention to some of the drum sounds that are bundled with Mixcraft. Of particular interest, I'd like to point out the Acoustica Sample Library Studio Drum Kit. Let's take a listen to some of those sounds. Increase the octave range. These all sound great. I've prepared a short MIDI clip. I'd like to play that back for you. It will give you a chance to hear the drums playing something that makes a little bit more musical sense.
If you don't already own a specialized drum sample library, such as Easy Drummer or BFD Drums by F Expansion, the Acoustica Studio Kit is a very, very good alternative. You're probably eager to know what instruments are bundled with Mixcraft and what they sound like. To start it off, let's take a listen to Martinique's Combo Model F Farphasia emulation. Next up, let's listen to Martinique's Combo Model V, a Vox Continental emulation. Here's the G Sonique Alien 303. That's in mono mode. We can change it to polyphonic. There's a great array of presets. Sounds great. Here are the cool, smooth sounds of the impulse synth. Here's the Lounge Lizard Session by Applied Acoustic Systems. You'll also hear some great Wurlitzer sounds with this one. Let's take a listen. Harkening back to the days of the famous Yamaha CS80, here's the ME80 by Memory Moon. Remember the classic analog sounds of the Moog synthesizers? Well, the Memory Moon synth, by its namesake, will be sure to impress. Here's the Messiah by Memory Moon. Here's another Moog emulator. This is the Mini Moog VA. Now this version of the VB3 by GSI is not exactly the same as the freebie version that you can download from the GSI website. This was a special edition made for Acoustica. I think you'll like the sound of it. Take a listen. Doesn't that sound sweet? That's a nice organ. There isn't a VST or for that matter a sample library made that competes with GSI's Hammond emulation. You want some B3? You've got it with this one. You can change your microphone distant placement, the balance, turn your rotary off and on, vibrato off and on. 
your C1, V2, C2, V3, C3. Adjust the amount of drive, give it some extra presence, put up a big old spring reverb emulation, give it lots of key click, you can adjust your draw bars with a MIDI controller. This is a very, very nice Hammond emulation. Let me introduce you to the bundled VST effects that are delivered with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. But first, let's take a listen to Ben Hale's lead vocal track from the included example project file, Rapunzel. I'm at the mercy of your hand I'm at the fate of your high command I never thought I'd get into this pickle. Okay, it's a beautiful vocal track, but you can hear a lot of crosstalk and bleed in the vocal track, where the other instruments, especially the acoustic guitar, are easily heard. I've loaded up TB Gate by Tone Boosters on this track. Let's take a listen. I'm at the mercy of your hand. I'm at the fate of your high command I never thought I'd get into this pickle TB Gate is doing a great job of eliminating extra bleed and too much crosstalk information. I have the closed gain set so that you still hear a little bit of the crosstalk so that it's a more natural sound. Two fabulous plugins that are only available with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 is the wonderful Acoustica 31 Band EQ and the great Acoustica Pro Studio Reverb. In particular, the Pro Studio Reverb is an enhanced version of the algorithmic reverb that's built into Acoustica Pianissimo, which is a Steinway Model D Grand Piano sample library very very good for the money and it is bundled in Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. I'll show that to you in a little bit. Let's listen to Ben Hale's vocal track now with Acoustica Studio Reverb using Medium Hall preset. I'm at the mercy of your hand. Oh that's a nice rich reverb. Listen to the tales. I'm at the fate of your high command. We have nice smooth decay. I never thought I'd get into this pickle. Let's set it up to large hall. I never thought I'd get into this jam. Cathedral. I'm leaning on your every word. That's a nice smooth reverb. The classic Kajeras effects are all bundled and included with Mixcraft, both Pro Studio and also the regular versions. I'll be honest with you, I started out with Kajeras effects long before I used any other payware or commercial plugins. Then I found out about Bootsy over at Variety of Sound and started using some of his as well. But we have here good old Kajeras classic reverb. Classic Phaser, Classic Delay, Classic Master Limiter, Stereo EQ, Classic Compressor, and last but not least, Classic Chorus. From G Sonique, we have Dubmaster Liquid Delay. Lots of interesting delay effects with this one. You can go into some pretty strange territory. Up next is the Fat Plus by G Sonic. Take a listen to this one. Fat Plus is actually a vacuum tube tape sound simulation effect. Wide range of presets. Yet another analog saturation effect. Some will find it very useful. 
The FSQ 1964 by G Sonique is a vacuum tube high frequency transient vitalizer. It adds a lot of bite, added harmonics to the high end. Really bring those hi hats out. An emulation of a solid state logic EQ. This is the GSXL4070. Certainly a decent equalizer. The Creative Plus is an interesting effect. Does strange things with envelope shaping, frequency oscillation. Mix Plus is a stereo enhancer. Really brings out a lot of the side information in your source. For creative stereo phase filtering on the side source, Here's Creative Plus mid-side version. Ooh, weird man. Strange stuff. The G Sonique EQ110P is the very first full textile EQ that I had ever worked with. It has an amazing high end. It's a little harder to do the boost cut trick with this one. It features different types of tubes in both the input and output stages. They give you the choice of Class A, Warm Tube, Vintage Tube, a Dirty Vintage Tube, 12AX7 Tube. There are subtle differences between all of these. Last but not least, Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 includes a trimmed down version of Isotope's Ozone software. This is called Isotope Mastering Essentials. It offers a large selection of presets. All of these have a very distinct effect upon your source material. Let's give the default a listen. It includes a tube amplifier, a room simulator, and valve equalizer. Whoa, that does sound like you were in a bathroom, doesn't it? So there you have it. Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 comes with a nice large collection of very usable and good quality plugins. For only $149, you get a lot of bang for the buck with Acoustica's Mixcraft Pro Studio 6.